Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Age of Empires 2 with Triax 2. So, we're currently in the uh, Campaign 1, William Wallace. It's a it's the learning campaign for those unfamiliar with Age of Empires. Um, our next mission is Research and Technology, which could be pretty interesting. So, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so uh, it's slight like historic weird weirdness. Um, so objectives to win, you will need to advance the feudal age and repel the English raids. Um, well, one and the other are not that difficult. So, uh, hence, soldiers will automatically attack any enemy soldiers that get near them. You also select your soldiers and right-click on a specific enemy unit you want to attack. Okay, so. Uh, let's get started with that. You need to get started on that. Actually, that's a better idea. Let's get that. Yeah. Uh, now, this is... Aha, here we go. So you can... Uh, we need a... Mine... Oh, we need more wood. Uh, go ahead and get started with the chopping, with tree chopping. You are going to build us a fishing ship. And a fishing ship is useful because it can go and it can get the fish out here, as well as these little ones near shore. We're going to send you out for a little more. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. We can do that right away. So now have your villagers build a mill. The mill is a drop-off point for food, so build it next to your camps. Can we? Yeah, we don't have enough wood yet. You're on your way to the feudal age. So, uh, as you can see, we're on this particular little map. English are making a sneak attack. In addition to gathering food and forage food, villagers can herd sheep. Ah, however, if you hit the ring, ring the bell, then, yeah, and you can see here, the town center acts as a pretty good defensive. We didn't lose anybody, though, and when you, if you hit, unring the bell, everybody goes back to exactly what they were doing. Ah, I forgot to set up waypoint here. So now this will automatically, if I... Yeah, I don't have enough wood to really build more of these. Because what I want is to actually build a lumber camp over here. But it requires more wood than I have, which is a thing that... Okay, you and you. Not you. No, build your lumber camp over here. Thank you. Advancing to the next stage is the best way to increase your civilization. Near the minimap at the lower right corner of the screen is the idle villager button. Click it. The local villagers who are not currently assigned to the task are now preparing a food array. You can upgrade your militia to men at arms. Click the barracks, then click upgrade to men at arms. Right. So Okay. You guys want to get back together. Thank you. So, we currently have Militia, which, you know, 
they have a club. They're not exactly the best, um, best of the best, sir. However, we can create. Upgrade to man at arms for 100 food and 40 gold. We have all that. Upgrading to man at arms will change all your militia units to the more powerful men at arms. Yes, and yes, uh, we, we, we got that. So they go from having clubs to having actual proper swords, more or less. Uh, you'll, you'll notice they're damaged. We don't have a, the ability to make priests, so we can't really do anything about that. However, with now that they're closer to the lumber camp, we can actually... Yes. So, we have swords, we have armor, we have... Deal with the British. Um, get over here. Kill that guy. No, kill that guy. Yeah. Uh, dudes in armor don't have a very good time against this many men-at-arms. So, ah, victorious. Okay, I didn't know if we were going to have to go and attack them. But here at the docks, we could also create other ships. Yeah. Just, yep. I find this a really weird map, although this here is... Ah, British militia. Okay, I don't know why he's there, but sure. Right, so, we can go ahead and... That's not the, that's not the menu button. That's the menu button. So, we can quit our current game. Indeed, and now into Battle of Sterling. So this is where, so these four missions were the tutorials. Now, except for Forge and Alliance, we get into the actual meat of the game, where we do have to go and attack. Defeat the English army and destroy their tower. So, the scenario begins in a similar way to random map games. After, pl after you play the scenario, you should know all you need to play a random map game, which is multiplayer or skirmish against the AI. The time has come to take the offensive. The English have a choice near the town of Stirling. If we can defeat the English here, they may think twice about their invasion of Scotland. To win, destroy the English tower to the west. Before we attack the English to the west, we need to build up our forces. Have your villagers start gathering food. Scout cavalry are sure fighters. We can use your scout cavalry to explore the rest of the map and find the English. Keep making villagers with the town center until you have ten. The more villagers you have, the faster your resources will come in. So they're not joking about scout cavalry. If he were parked over here, he could actually see further than those villagers. But what I'm looking for is to see what resources are around. I know for a fact that if I follow these two paths, I will find the English, which... Not really ready to do that just yet. It's a good thing this is a learning campaign, because the English at full... at their full potential are incredibly scary as enemies go. With a little bit of work the English longbow becomes... Nope, don't. Indeed. Click the set gather point button. Or you can click the town.
Sound Center and then just click right click. Okay. Oh, you're not doing the thing. Fine. I forgot that you have to put them on an actual tree. Although, not that. What I want out of you is to build, like, I guess three houses. So, if you hold shift, you can click multiple times, and as soon as he finishes one house, he'll move immediately on to the next closest construction. So, uh, you, your job is to go stand over here and be bait if, any, if the British turn up. It's not a great job, but it is a job. Yes, I know we need to build more houses, so now we're building more more villagers, and we'll just, you know what, we'll set you for food. The, these three sheep will be, um, uh, tasty. Use your villager to build a mill near your forage bushes. Ah, yes. Forgot about that. So the fun thing about the mill, yeah, we'll build this quickly, and they'll automatically start harvesting wood as soon as it's done. You're almost done with the house. Alright, there we go. This lumber camp was built in a terrible place. Ah. Uh, right. I forgot about the dock. Here. You two, stop that. Uh, we'll need to build this, we'll need to build a dock. But the other thing we can build now that we have a mill is the farm. Which we can use to um, automatically produce food. But it costs wood to build, but you can set it up to automatically rebuild when it's finished. Alright, you need to go over here. Unfortunately, he can't disassemble these. You get that. We're just gonna set a waypoint there. We can build two fishing ships. We have the spare um, housing for it. Now, in later ga in um, Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds, which is based on this, you can actually um, I house the sheep in your food in, in the equivalent of this, and it just acts. They slowly produce food over time, basically. Yes, I know how to do it, thank you. 500 food, which we don't have yet. Yes, I know how fishing ships work, thank you. Yes, we can do that. Not you, not like that. First of all, you need to build... Okay. Villagers can also build farms. Build four farms near your mill. There you go. Build that. Build that and build five villagers. Thank you. Uh, yes, we'll, we'll get to farms in a minute. But basically, you want your lumber camp as close as possible to your trees because the closer it is to your trees, the faster that you can build. Delete a destroyed building, right? And by having just this lumber camp here, then they will produce wood a lot faster than if they had done it on their own. We'll also get that one. Let's see. So it takes a little bit of wood to build to actually build the barracks, which is what we're waiting on right now. Next one goes to that tree. I do like the fact that the, the little seagull animation at the docks. You're fine. And the last one can go there. So we don't actually need wood or, wood or gold, really. But we do need a bit of gold. But uh, what we have is actually not so bad. So let's go ahead and upgrade to the Feudal Age. Well, we have 
while we're waiting on wood. Oops. Okay. So as long as they don't start with another structure or, or another resource. Everybody, buckle up. And the more villagers you have in your town center, the more arrows that they will shoot and wipe out the British. Yeah, the town center gets quite a lot of attack very, very quickly. Yep. Now everybody gets back to what they were doing. Yep. And as soon as you guys are done, you can all go back to tree chopping. There you go. And if you click them all on one tree, they don't really chop it that much faster, because only, I think, two of them can work it on it at once. Nope, nope. They can all work on it. Now we have this. You're almost at the feudal age, which is awesome. Uh, these fishing boats are way more efficient at bringing in food than the villagers are, to be honest. Yep. And... 100%. There we go. So, uh, here you get your transport ships, your trade cogs, and your galleys. Now, galleys are galleys are pretty good uh, warships. So we're going to go ahead and build one and use it as a scout ship to see what else is in this water. Yes, we know how to make these. Now, we can create... Uh, so creating militia takes gold. Creating spearmen takes food and wood, but they aren't quite as good against... Uh, actual ground forces. However, what we can do is spend 75 food on tracking because tracking is really helpful. Uh, fortunately, we don't actually get any upgrades for the... Ah, you guys. Ah, we can build stables, we can build stone walls. <clears throat> we could build the market, but there's no one to trade with. So what we want to build here is one, two, three, four, five farms. Okay. Yes, so they'll automatically move on to the next construction, and one person will hang around and replant that. However, you need 60 wood to automatically replant a farm, which is kind of annoying. So you, however, are nominated to... Excuse me. Thank you. You are nominated to come over here and build a stables. Don't forget. Keep exploring the map. I don't want to explore the map because if I explore the map I will find the English and I don't want to find the English. The hill with the dead tree protects the only access to your town. It would be a good idea to build a watchtower on this hill once you advance to the feudal age. Indeed. So, we'll park up here, as soon as we have the spare villager, which will be her, we will set our... Ah, so the wheelbarrow is incredibly useful, because it, they can carry more, so they go from carrying 10 to carrying, I think it's 15, or 12. So you need to build a watchtower, which we put right here. Yes. Over here. Oh, look, we've discovered more gold. We'll very carefully go over this way. Now, with the this, we can actually build more scout cavalry, but scout cavalry is kind of terrible. Still, it's not <coughs> the worst. Worst in the world. You can come over here. Now, the other thing I need is Town Watch. And Town Watch is very useful because it will expand the site radius of the buildings, including the Watchtower. But for now, we'll park you here until that shows up. We can head out this way. This will find us more fish. Because these will only fish what they can... Yeah, see? You can see much farther now. Um, 
what are you doing out here? Uh, we will want a blacksmith, which amusingly is built entirely out of wood. So, by sending the galleon out to look for the British, we save our fishing ships from being shot by British archers, which, you know, is not fun. If I recall correctly, this particular map has a back door into the British camp, but I'm not certain. English Tower to the west, which is off this way. Yeah, so you could, in fact, send your fishing ships out here. Yes. This is the one I remember. So, basically, we can go through this, or what we can do is come out here and, um, you know, sail around in a transport, which is what we're going to do. So for this, we'll need two transport ships. Let's send them out here. Blacksmith is used to upgrade your inventory. Inventory? Infantry. Research scale mail armor. You, I'm going to want some archers. So you head over there. This, uh, we have everything we need. We are going to need to make some more lumber camps though. Uh, give me two more villagers. Thank you. Yes, I know. Yes, I know exactly what I'm doing. Thank you. As soon as they start being produced, they start. Oh, right, because it's the transport ships. Right. Yes. That's the plan. Um, I don't think that's actually Scottish, however. But it doesn't matter. She'll build the houses. Let's see. As soon as this house is done... Yeah, and she's going to come over here and start building houses with the other one. There we go. And we'll get this going. Yep. So now we'll get another villager out. And we'll get our other transport ship. So these can each hold five. Um, actually, I think we need... Yeah, we'll get two more. And they can all sit out here for now. You come over here. I think it's in t not until the next mission that we get the ability to... Actually, I know what we can do. Let's grab you, and you can come over here. And our scout cavalry comes here. Oh, you're idle. Excellent. Well, guess what? You are now a mining miner. So you get on board. You get to come over here. And you can drop off the scout cavalry, and we can search a little deeper into this southern area here. And unload at this point. Okay, farming is exhausted, so make this. Uh, you need to do that, and you need to... Okay, momentarily, as soon as we have more farming. Uh, you need to make more... I don't... never did figure out why I needed wood to make those, but I suppose... Um, you can head back. And you get to explore. So, there's, if I recall correctly, there's a little bit more food here in the form of the deer. And you can continue to explore this way. But if you run out of wood, you can basically ship villagers over here and build lumber camps and get more wood. I don't remember if there's any other useful resources over here. But that's what we're looking for. I do know there's quite a lot of fo food in the fish in this map. Uh -oh. I'm, I'm not actually doing this slowly, by intentionally, by the way. So, we need 10 men at arms. Um, 
yes, we're going to need 10 skirmishers and 10 archers. So, all we can get is scout cavalry, unfortunately. Uh, you can go there. You can come out this way, which will get us more... Yeah. Oh, I know what we need to be doing. We need to come over here. And 100 food, 50 wood. We'll get that, and the double bit axe causes them to mine, chop wood much faster. However, what we're not going to do is, um, oh, right, we need, didn't set rally point for our skirmish, for our, uh, ranged units. That's fine. So, he's gonna keep doing that. You're gonna keep doing that. So as soon as we have enough of our military, we will then get our get on our boats and head out to the oh no finish the map thank you I don't remember if there's an achievement for exploring the whole map okay everybody get aboard now if uh, yes we'll go here upgrades are incredibly important in Age of Empires. Right, uh, you go here. All right, you're full. Yes. Yes, I do. I'm working on it. It's such a loud mouth. Yeah. So the train cog could basically. <laughs> go to an ally and get a bunch of... Wait, how many do you have? You have four or five. Come here. You can go in there. And we're just waiting on our last couple archers. Did I miscount? Uh, apparently I miscounted. Okay. Oh, you know what? I know exactly what happened. Uh, we'll have one more. You know what? We'll have a spearman. Because... These need to go here. Don't forget. Keep exploring the map. Yes, I'm working on it, you goofy... The narrator is kind of annoying, to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna let this one run a little bit long, because this is a little more of a... complicated mission. Uh... Done. Where's me Spearman? There he is. And he gets aboard. Alright, so, instead of going straight in from the front, we're going to head this way. I really want to bunch up together a bit. Thank you. So we can head down this way. I like the fact that they do travel in a, t try to travel in a line at least. And you, oh, you can also left click on the map to zoom around, which is very handy. Alright, let's go around this way, and instead of having to go through the wall and attack there, we can head this way. And next, I think next mission we get some proper um, besieging equipment. And everybody tries to unload, and has trouble doing so. You can also unload, and then you guys need to um, book it back to the shoreline. So, we're also going to put you into box formation, which means our archers <coughs> will be in the middle. Yes. Alright, we'll kill that. Come on, kill that guy. Kill that guy. <coughs> yeah, our archers will automatically flee. 
The skirmishers are stupidly strong against archers. That's why we brought skirmishers along. Okay, that's that. We'll kill that guy. Alright. You get dead. You get dead. I'm being attacked by the English. Well, no kidding. Alright. And so now we can come over here. Yep. Yeah, stupidly they sent their archers out of the tower rather than leaving them in where they're safe. Now, we need to move these guys away because they're the only ones that threat. Because they have not re researched an upgrade called Murder Holes that allows them to shoot straight down. The tower is about to go down. Excellent. And you can attack that. Huzzah! So now that we've destro destroyed that, we can destroy all this stuff. Technically, we've already won. However, there we go. And now that we're victorious, we can go ahead and... Yeah, there was one other house. But normally you'd have to go through this and through all these towers. Oh, there's more sheep on the map. And all this, all this work to uh, defeat the English when instead you can just be stealthy and slip around the backside, which is awesome. Alright, so, we're going to quit our current game. Yes. Sterling was our first great victory. Even as we held the city, our world paid dream of the Sterling Breach had been held by a force of Scots, led by the mythical knight. Now, no more. Sir William Wallace. With renewed vigor, perhaps the tide of our misfortune has turned. <laughs> Indeed, and how however, we will have to learn about that next episode. So, this has been Age of Empires 2 with Triax 2. I will see you guys next time. Bye.